with only one week to go until my debut album is released to the world, I'm here to tell you my top five favourite tracks from the record. Coming in at number five is a little magical sounding track called Questo è Amore. This song wasn't going to appear on the album originally. I challenged myself one day to try composing something a little bit different than my usual. I imagined up this kind of scene with Audrey Hepburn in an Italian style movie. And I suddenly thought to myself, I'm gonna challenge myself even more and write half of it in Italian. <laughs> so I did and I just fell in love with the results of it. It sounds so magical and dreamy and almost nostalgic with its orchestral soundscape. This ended up being one of the songs on the album that I had a big string section play on and it was an amazing experience. And oh my goodness, it added so much to the song. Coming in at number four, another little magical sentimental track. This song is called Nostalgia. I love this song simply because it's so personal to me. I wrote this song all about my childhood, all about my parents. It encapsulates all of my happy memories growing up. Every time I sing it or listen to it, I get to relive the life I had with my mum and dad all over again, which obviously now is a little bit bittersweet. So it's an emotional one, but I'm just really proud of how much it captures the very essence of our relationship as a family. My third favorite is also a little bit of a family inspired one, Big Old Blue. Big Old Blue refers to our beautiful big planet and my desire and the encouragement I had from my family to go out and explore it. I was lucky enough to have been raised with an amazing role model, my great auntie Dina. She spent so much of her life traveling and working around the world and she had endless stories and endless wisdom. She was the wisest woman I've ever met and ever will meet. <laughs> but she was also one of the funnest and the most positive and the most chirpy. And so it was important to me that I captured that in this song. And I also wanted to factor in my own travel experiences. I wanted this song to remind me of the jungles and rainforests and all the adventures I've been on. And so when we were recording this song, I gave all the band a brief and instructions for each song on the album. And the instructions for this song were just keyword, adventure. <laughs> and my drummer in particular laid down the most perfect adventure drums. <laughs> and I, I have no words. Perfect. <laughs> so I feel really adventurous whenever I listen to this song. At number two, I'm actually putting the title track of the album. Whilst I adore this song, there is just one more that slightly wins it for me, but what it is to no colour is such a beautiful piece, musically and also poetically. I'm really proud of this one because I feel like it captures the emotions that I really wanted to portray. This song is all about recognising the beauty of life again after coming out of a bit of a dark patch and more specifically about feeling love again. When I lost dad, I realised I pushed a lot of people away. My relationships with people changed a lot. I think I completely lost my vibrancy, but I almost had a bit of a wake up call one day and it was like someone had suddenly turned a light back on. And it was at that point that I realised just how bland I'd felt. Something had ignited the fire in me again. And it was a strange feeling because I hadn't even noticed that it had gone out, but suddenly it felt like an explosion. I felt hyper aware of my heart beating and the blood in my veins and the colours outside my window. And that is exactly what this song is about. Finally, at number one, my favourite track on the whole album. Aurora is the grand finale track. I am so in love with this piece. I don't usually enjoy listening to my own music because A, you overhear it so much when you're recording it and you just get sick of it and B, it's so hard to listen without thinking about all the things you would change going forward or things you could have done better and also C, who really likes the sound of their own voice? <laughs> But this song defies all of that. I could listen to this song on repeat. I love it. 
This song was my attempt at creating a cinematic, epic, movie soundtrack-esque soundscape. Something big and orchestral. And it's something that I wanted to do for a very long time. Since watching a documentary on how Hans Zimmer and John Williams compose their music for films, I have felt so inspired and have wanted to do that ever since. And for me, this song is my answer to that. We had an orchestra appear on this track and holy moly, the power and the lift that it gives this song is just something else. It's euphoric. And that's how I feel when I listen to it. I am unbelievably proud of this song. I just want you to hear it so much. But they're my top five tracks, and I would love to know what your top five are once the album is released on the 6th of October. Oh, it's so soon. It's so exciting. I can't wait to share it with you all. Thank you so much for pre-ordering, for pre-saving. Thank you to everyone who's bought a ticket to the album launch. There's still some left. Please grab them while you can. And I look forward to seeing you there. Bye!